Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I thought I would show you the video process for one of my first attempts at oil painting. And I just want to apologise now for anybody that actually cannot like use oil colours and just to say that I'm really sorry for like using it wrong or if it's painful for you to watch because of the <laughs> the newbie experimentation. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd narrate over it a little bit so I can explain to you what I'm doing. And right now I'm like doing almost like an underpainting, but it's more like sketching out where the main features will be. And I think I realise how off my sketch is in a moment and I try to erase it and I just erase it with like paint thinner. Um, yeah, I'm already starting to do it there. Um, for the background, I just kind of got a really really watered down a uh, bit of permanent violet and just like rubbed it all over the canvas um because i just thought that would be the best color to use at the time um i didn't regret the color choice but it was just a bit too bright um but yeah i've started with darkest first because i watched a few tutorials and i thought that seemed to be like the best way for me and I also tried to do it um, a la prima which I think means just all at once so no layers or anything no letting it dry just literally trying to paint the whole thing in one go but yeah um, I tried to show like what I was using for reference um, in like the corner of the screen a couple of minutes ago but it was literally just the first photo I found on Pinterest that had relatively good lighting Uh, I made so many mistakes on this and I just kind of like kept going back and erasing it with like taking it off with some uh, kitchen roll or because uh, I had gloves on like some latex gloves I just kind of like wiped it off with my finger and just hoped for the best and reapplied the paint. Um, I soon learned that all of the colours kind of bled through after a while like I'd lay a colour down and then after about 10, 15 minutes or so, the, the undercolour was actually sleep, like seep through. So that was something that I had to keep battling throughout the entire thing. So you can see me like adding more uh, yellowish layers because it was way too pink at that point because the pink just kept eating through. Um, but I do like the kind of weird like effect that it came through with at the end where there's like bits of like bright pink because I don't think I actually covered the whole canvas when I was painting. And that brush there was just like a super, super cheap makeup brush and it was just fluffy. And I thought, you know what, that seems like a good idea. I've seen many people use those in like tutorials and just like advice from friends that that's like a really good way to blend out your paint. Also I'm sorry if uh, I'm a bit like snuffly, I'm full of hay fever at the moment and uh, it's really hot here in the UK. Um, currently and it is just it is almost unbearable <laughs> yep yeah, that's the uh, that's the speed paint for today folks that's the uh, finished that's the best kind of photo I could get of the finished thing and it's like a scan on my scanner um, if you'd like to see like a better picture of it I have a really good one over on my Instagram that shows um, it in natural light. But yeah, thank you for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you for another video next week. Bye.